Generics provide type safety and help you avoid explicit typecast. Generics extend the type system to allow a type or method to operate on objects of various types while providing compile time type safety. On the other hand, generics can be limiting when you need to access type info in a generic function and the compiler tells you the info doesn't exist. Kotlin, once again, has a more elegant way to deal with this. In this video, I'll show you how to access the array's type info of generic parameters by using a single keyword, reified. If you like the video and want to see more videos like this, just subscribe. The missing type info is a result of how generics are implemented in the JVM. Hint, type erasure, which we will discuss later. As a workaround, you can access the deleted generic type by passing the class of the generic type as a parameter of the function. This isn't too bad, but Kotlin addresses the problem with a unique keyword, reified. With reified, you can access the type info from within a generic function. If you are familiar with how generics work, you might be asking how this is even possible. Let's see how. Let's talk about generics first. Before generics were added to Java with version 5, type info didn't exist in collections. This means there is no indication if an array list is an array list of string, integer, or any other type. Without generics, each time you want to access an object in a collection, you need to perform an explicit cast. Plus, there is no guard against invalid casts, which will result in runtime exceptions. To address this, generics were added in Java 5. With generics, you can define a specific type for a collection, and the compiler will warn you if you try to add any other type. Also, you don't need to perform explicit casts, which might result in runtime exceptions. Generics are implemented with a trick called type erasure. Since there was no type info before Java 5, the Java compiler first replaces all type info with a base object type and adds necessary typecasts. Type erasure allows both compile time type safety by providing type information to the compiler, as well as backwards compatibility by keeping the bytecode the same as on previous Java versions. Meanwhile, type erasure can be limiting when you need the type info in a generic function. Now, let's see how Reified manages to access type info at runtime that should have been erased at compile time. To tackle this problem, Reified makes use of inline functions. If you are unfamiliar with inline functions, make sure you watch the inline functions video, which is linked in the notes below. To recap, if a function is marked as inline, the Kotlin compiler will copy the function body to every place where it is used. One advantage of this is that the compiler is also free to modify the function body as it's being copied over. To use reified parameter types, you first need to make the function inline and then add the reified keyword to the generic parameter. Let's take a look at what's happening under the hood in the decompiled Java code. When there is a call to the inline function with a reified type, the compiler will copy the function body and replace the generic types with the actual declared type. As a result, you don't need to pass the class to access the type info. Reified can be used only with inline functions, so the same rules that apply to inline functions apply to reified. Also, keep in mind that reified functions cannot be accessed from Java. Java doesn't support inlining, and without inlining, generic parameters cannot escape being erased by the compiler. Reified also allows overloading functions to return generic types. For example, the following function can return an int or float. Normally, a function cannot be overloaded with the same input and have different return types. With inline functions, once again, the compiler can replace the generic return type with the expected type while copying the function body. If you take a look at the decompiled Java code, the compiler uses an integer type for the int call variable and uses float for the float call variable. 
Reified allows you to do things with generics which were previously not possible due to lack of type info at runtime. Use Reified when you need the class type info in your inline functions or to overload generic return types. Reified doesn't introduce any performance penalties, but inlining a large function can. Since a function needs to be inlined in order to use Reified types, don't forget to keep your Reified functions short to avoid performance penalties and follow the best practices for inline functions. Thanks for watching. Go write beautiful Android apps with Kotlin, and I'll see you next time.